In this video, we're going to use the linear factorization theorem to find polynomials with given zeros. It says find the third degree polynomial function that has an output of 16 when x equal 2 and has zeros 1 and negative 2i. Well, first of all, if we have zeros 1 and negative 2i, that means we have three zeros. So our zeros are 1, negative 2i, but if you have an imaginary, you have to have a second imaginary. They always come in pairs. So that would be positive 2i as well. So then our factors would be, if we write out our factors, our factors would be x minus 1, x plus 2i, and x minus 2i. And it says that our output is 16. So really, I have 16 is equal to, well, I could rewrite that. Let's, let's wait. We're going to write this as f of x is equal to a times x minus 1 times x plus 2i times x minus 2i. Now, what I would do is I'd probably multiply this x plus 2i and x minus 2i piece to get this into a easier, a better looking form. So f of x equals a x minus 1. If I multiply x plus 2i, I get x squared, x times x, x times negative 2i, so that's negative 2ix, 2i times x, that's positive 2ix, and then 2i times 2i, well, that'd be negative 4i squared. Remember, i squared is negative 1, so that's really just positive 4, and these two things cancel. So I end up with a x minus 1 times x squared plus 4. And they tell me in the problem that uh, 16 is the output when our input is 2. So I can say that that's a 2 minus 1 and then 2 squared plus 4. Well, that's 16 equals a times 1 times 8. Let's divide by 8 on each side, and it tells us our leading coefficient is 2. So I can write that equation then as f of x is equal to 2 x minus 1, x squared plus 4. Now I should probably multiply all that out. And when I multiply that out, I end up with x cubed. So f of x equals x cubed plus 4x minus x squared minus 4 all times 2. So then I can write this as f of x is equal to, if I distributed 2 to all of those, I get 2x cubed. 2 times negative x squared would be negative 2x squared. 2 times 4x is 8x. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And so based on the information they gave us, this would be our polynomial that has that information.